so I was on Twitter again I know it's destructive but not really because I, it gives me things to talk about and um okay so I was on the the Ben 10 community and I saw something about people hating too much on the reboot and I said that it, you know it's 100% justified because it is irredeemable abysmal dog shit because you know heat blast sounds like he smokes um you know, less so in, you know, UAF, but UAF is fucking awful anyways, but, you know, in the classic, and Omniverse, Heat Blast has, like, a, you know, like, he just has a raspy voice, and I think they built, like, a filter on it or something, I don't know, but it's, he sounds great, you know, the little, like, like, if you watch an episode, you'll hear, like, Diamond Head do a lot of clinking and stuff, and it, it's the little things that make them feel like aliens, you know, even though, you know, they all speak English, and they're all usually humanoid, but that, it's, it's, it's sauce, you know. So, I foolishly kept, you know, staying on the community, looking through the posts, and I came across something that said, would... Ben 10 beat Joker from Persona 5, the Persona 5 series, sorry. And this this is something that, you know, again, has been brewing because, you know, my friend sent me the thing about the death battle and asked me who I thought would win. And I said that Jorno wins because Joker, does, well, one, Joker doesn't have, like, real powers. And, and I think you throw away your powers and all of the good endings, um... But, you know, I'm going to humor you. I'm going to do the thing where you assume that. Uh, do the thing where you assume that. Uh, what the fuck am I saying? Every. What am I saying? If you assume that, um, like, they're every alternate, you know, reality that they go to in Persona, that they can use their powers in the real world. Um, and whenever people do that for, you know, arguing, do the Persona protagonist beat the Shin Megami Tensei protagonist, the Persona protagonist gets their pussies pounded, like, really hard. And I'm not, I don't want to do power scaling. I don't want to do power scaling. I just want to talk about gameplay. Because the strength of these characters is, and, and this is something that I noticed while playing SMT5, and it, and it bothered me because the cutscenes in that game were really fucking bad. Um, so, but, but, like, I had to suspend my disbelief a lot. I had to do a lot of work on that front because I'm playing as a guy who, you know, can, I, I, he can, like, do, like, the fucking anime thing where you slash someone, like, eight times in, like, one second, but apparently I'm just, like, jogging around the city. Like, I, I don't, like, what the fuck? What's going on? Um, so, and, like, I know there's, like, a gameplay thing, and the thing is that for gameplay, it never really changes or evolves beyond doing the same shit you do all the time. So, when you try to tell me, you try to argue that Joker is a reality warper, I'm gonna look you in the eye, and I'm gonna stab you in the eye, you stupid fucking liar. Joker is not a reality warper. That bum-ass, <laughs> that guy gets arrested in, like, two endings or whatever like he's a fucking loser it, like the metaverse doesn't make any sense so and oh my god i i don't like thinking about persona 5's stupid fucking power system and all the stupid yout about bullshit because none of it makes any sense like don't think about it it doesn't it's all really stupid and oh god hold on Ugh. it's getting beamed in the face Okay, so presentation-wise, in Persona 5, you spend all your time in the metaverse. Uh, what, what, that's where the gameplay happens. And so to suddenly call this character a reality warper when all you do is fight monsters who never seem to get like visibly stronger or have like a crazy effect on the world is it's just a little it's a little silly and this is something that i feel also applies to smt5 because as i said before you know the whole like speed thing being consistent because some cutscenes just shouldn't be able to happen like how fast the demons are and the characters it doesn't it just doesn't track to me there's no like sense of power because well they never use their power to like do anything um like they often talk about refreighting the world but that doesn't mean anything because they will always have to do it through like some outside object because they don't have the power themselves because well you can't really tell a story if you can't tell a story 
um, when you just, you know, can dissolve any obstacle. And, it's, and you know, you play in, in SMT5, you play as a god in, you know, that world sense. Like, you, you have um, knowledge and, I don't know, the, the demon's power? I don't So, you are a god. And your character can, he can fly. He, he can float. But... He, he he can't jump over a rock like a, a too high of a cliff so it, it's just like the gameplay and you know lore integration just doesn't make any sense like i'm not i don't it doesn't feel like i'm playing as like multiversal heavy hitters like as much as fancy as the animations get it like it, it still doesn't make sense with the even with the fancy animations because the characters are just standing there and taking it so like because because that's just how turn-based battle works so it <sighs> It bothers me. It, 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 I don't know how you're supposed to do power scaling in games like this, but fuck it, I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know, with like a story, I mean, SMT5 doesn't really have much in the way of a story and they sort of keep things vague. But even then, you know, the, the, the story is again marred by just cutscenes where everyone's, they just don't have powers. And, you know, as a Mortal Kombat fan, I can really relate to that because there's a horrible scene where one character sindel she kills like 10 people in a room and they all charge at her one at a time without any powers and it's fucking miserable oh my god um <laughs> anyways i just had to get this off my chest no i do not believe that joker can beat ben 10 you know what you you want to know why because you know even even outside of alien x i'm not convinced that joker can beat Humongousaur, because Humongousaur is a fucking dinosaur, and I, I don't know, it, Joker kind of struggles with fighting, like, Cerberus and, and just the random shadows, like, on his own. You, like, okay, so let's say this is level 99 Joker, so, okay, so what the fuck, how, like, how are you gonna take level scaling into consideration, or what, what even is almighty, like, it goes through, it reflects, but, like, Okay, it, it, none of it makes any sense. Cause if it, like if you have almighty magic, then it, none of it none of it's explained well. It's all gameplay mechanics. I don't, I, it, it, I don't want to think about this anymore. I don't think that Joker can beat Ben Ten. I don't think that Joker has faster than light speeds. I don't think that Joker beats Yorno. If I remember correctly, um, if like I, I think. Like, there's a video of Joker fighting the, the main character from the Persona 5 mobile game. And they're, they're, they're having, like, a knife fight. And it's a little anime, but it's a normal-ass knife fight. They're not doing any crazy speed feats or anything. I don't think that Jorna loses. I'm sorry, because the cutscenes in the game are showing me something different. Like, you can dodge a laser. But the moment dodging lasers and lightning and gameplay, or... It, it, it is not the same as as like it 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 kills me when i hear that people say that like actually spider-man has faster than light reaction speed like okay like that that's fine faster than light reaction speed that's fine but movement speed no you can say that joker has faster than like movement speed but reaction speed i mean no i said it the wrong way around fuck i said it too fast huh <laughs> it's a speed thing but um y you know what i mean it don't make sense, and um, I guess that's just it. Sorry, I got distracted. I I was looking at looking at my B stars book, and uh, I started thinking about that, and I I'm kind of happy. Uh, maybe I will reread B stars one more time. I probably will, or I could watch it. When is that third season coming out? 